right, what's going on, YouTube family? Top of the morning, man. Welcome back to another episode of Hell on Rikers Island with your uh, with your with your host Ness, the one and only me, of course. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about why you don't want to go to Rikers Island, right? I'm gonna tell you a lot of things that goes on in there and why it's not worth it committing crimes and getting arrested, going to jail. You know, spending your life and your time, wasting your time locked up on Rikers Island, right? So, you know, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. Um, a lot of you guys, the path that you're going down, a lot of y'all teenagers, a lot of y'all misguided youth that, you know, following everybody, want to wanna make names for themselves in the streets and, and, and be, you know, known and well-respected in the streets. Um... A lot of y'all is gonna find yourself going down the, 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 the that uh, that path to Rikers Island, which is that one-way bridge to get on and off of Rikers Island, right? Sad to say that a lot of y'all is gonna be going down that bridge, like I once have, right? So I'm gonna tell y'all a lot of reasons why y'all don't want to go to Rikers Island, why Rikers Island is not cool. Um. The, num the first and foremost number one reason is, to me at least, is that um, for one, there's a lot of reasons, but this is, this is like probably, you know, the top of my list. Um, for the, the main thing is to me is being away from your family, you know what I'm saying? That's the top thing, like, that's what makes Rikers Island the worst of the worst, is being away from your family not only that, but you have to worry about the COs trying to oppress you, trying to make you with it, trying to make you do things you don't want to do. You have to worry about the COs abusing you, abusing their they authority, their powers as a correction officer. Um, you have to worry about the other inmates, which is your kind, your people's, your own skin color, most likely, you know, running down on you, oppressing you and, and robbing you putting a banger to your neck or to your face and telling them they want everything that you got or that you're getting from commissary or from the visit floor, a package, magazines, whatever, hygiene products, whatever. I'm saying these are the things you got to go through on Rikers Island. It don't matter how tough you are. It don't matter how gangster you are. It don't matter. I'm telling you, I witnessed it firsthand. The most gangsterous dudes submit like little girls. You know what I'm saying? So none of that shit matters at the end of the day, man. That's what people don't realize and understand. You go to Rikers Island, it don't matter how tough you are on the streets, how many people you shot, you will get tested. That's just the name of the game. That's Rikers Island for you. That's jail for you. That's politics. That's how jail works. It's that simple. That's why I keep preaching to y'all and telling y'all, giving y'all these good free words, right? To all the youth and even older people that come across this video, because my video is for all ages, starting at 10 and up, 9 and up, I would say. You know what I'm saying? So... Those are just a few things, man. You got to deal with searches. You got to deal with another, another grown man telling you to bend over and crack your ass and, and squat and cough and doing all of this, lift your nutsack. You got to deal with all of that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I keep telling y'all, is it really worth it? Do you niggas love bending over for the next man and 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 spreading your ass cheeks and and, and lifting up your sack? Cause I know when I had to do, I hated that shit. I used to call them niggas gay straight to their face when they told me, "Oh, bend over again, squat." What, nigga? You gay? Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? So those are those are some of the few things. Another thing is comments. I mean. The, the food If you ain't got no commissary Or nobody holding you down On the outside You fuck man You ain't got none of that On the outside Holding you down You fuck man You gonna be washing drawers For crackhead soups You gonna be cleaning out People dishes For crackhead soups And stuff man That's how it goes People gotta learn How to survive And adapt to their environment When they on Rikers Island Whether you tough Or you just a nobody Going to do what you got to do to eat and survive. The food is garbage. The food is trash. They only got certain things that be all right on the Rikers Island jail uh, menu for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which is the chicken and shit like that, the rice and beans and shit like that. Other than that, ain't nothing good on that shit. I'm saying everything else is straight garbage. So if you have no family, no loved ones, no girlfriend, nobody holding you down on the outside, 
you either gonna eat the mess hall food and be hungry all day, every day after the shit is done, or you're gonna scoop down below your level, wash some drawers, wash some dishes, I'm saying, sell your phone calls, whatever you gotta do to eat, niggas is gonna do it, I'm saying? And as a human being, nobody should have to go through that, I'm saying? Unless you really deserve to be there, you know what I mean? Um, these are some of the things you have to go through, man. Disrespect by COs, you know what I'm saying? Disrespect by other inmates, your fellow inmates, everything, man. You know what I'm saying? When you, if you got a girl, wifey, your wife come on a visit, you got a thousand CO niggas trying to holler at her before she even gets to the building that you're housed in. You know what I'm saying? She got to go through three or four other buildings soon as she gets to Rikers Island in order to get to your building where she will have to take a bus to your building. By then, a thousand CEOs, like I said, and try to holler at her, all on her, I'm saying, her body, I'm saying, telling her that you ain't, you, what, what could you do for her while you in there, and I'm saying, shit like that. And some females fall for it, believe it or not. And then they be with CEO Harry up there in his, in his crib somewhere or whatever, doing whatever they doing, you know what I'm saying? It happens, I've seen it done. I've seen females leave they nigga for a CO. I've seen it, you know what I'm saying? It happens. And those, these are the type of things that you will go through dealing with being on Rikers Island, man. That's why I keep telling y'all, crime don't pay, man, listen up, right? They gotta sell for everybody, even me. They gotta sell waiting with niggas' names and a number hanging, waiting for niggas to get in trouble and go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Them cells are always waiting for somebody. Every time somebody go home, they got a new person coming in. 10 people go home, 10 more people come in. That's just the cycle. That's the revolving door of being in that lifestyle. That's why I keep telling y'all little niggas, y'all don't want to be in that lifestyle. Y'all niggas think going to jail is cool, man. That shit is whack, bro. I promise y'all, man. I used to hate myself when I used to get caught and go back to Rikers Island. Every single time. Then I had to wake up and realize, like, yo, what are you doing? You got one life to live. Why the fuck you giving it away to the system for? When there's mad other shit out here that you could be doing. You know what I'm saying? So, get it together or forget it forever, man. Remember, these stories ain't nothing to glorify. They always to the uplift, man. Don't ever take none of my stories and try to use it to glorify, to think jail is cool, to, um, to think prison and gang banging is cool, because that shit is whack, man. I lived it for y'all, you feel me? It's over, man. That shit been over, man. Live your life, travel, get your passport if you ain't got one. Travel the world, go to other countries. See what other states, other countries is like. See different cultures. I'm saying, get on your bullshit. Because if you don't, ain't nobody going to do shit for you, man. And that's another thing I had to learn. All that sitting around waiting for shit to fall in your lap, fall in your hand. That shit ain't going to happen unless you get up and make shit happen for yourself, man. That's, that's why... You know what I'm saying? I had to make a lot of changes in my life in order to get what I wanted or to accomplish cer certain goals and things in my life. You know what I'm saying? And if I could do it, anybody could do it. You could do it too. That's watching. You, yeah, I'm talking to you. You could do it too. It's not hard, man. If you really want something, you're going to go out there. You're going to get it. You're going to do what you got to do the positive, legit way without you having to worry about getting locked up, getting arrested, getting caught up, sitting in a cell for however long you got to sit there, man. It's not cool, man. Get it together or forget it forever, man. Growth and development. Follow the Instagram, Hell on Rikers underscore island. Support the movement, man. Support the movement, man. Because we got to save the youth. We got to save our next generation. You know what I'm saying? Niggas think going to jail and going to prison is cool. Being free, being with your family is cool. You heard going to the store on your own is cool. Not going to the store, commissary store on Rikers Island or up north in prison. That shit ain't cool, you heard? That shit never was cool. You know what I'm saying? So get it together or forget it forever, man. I hope some of y'all that come across my video, because I know it ain't going to be able to save a lot, all of y'all, but some of y'all, man, take heed, man. This is a free game for y'all. Definitely some free game for y'all, man. I'm saying, like I said, I lived it. So everything I speak about and talk about is facts, man. Ain't nothing sugarcoat, ain't no beating around a bush, there's no editing, ain't none of that shit. This is straight, raw, real shit. I'm saying. So get with it, get it together, or forget it forever. Word.
the reason why I do this shit, man. It ain't for the fame. It ain't for none of that, man. That shit is all gonna come in the back end. You know what I'm saying everywhere I go now, people be recognizing me, talking about Hell on White. Cause I, I walk past a construction site, dude was like, "Yo, you Hell on Rikers?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's a fact." He's like, "Yo, I was just watching this." I'm like, "Oh, word, appreciate that." I uh, feel me. That shit feel good. You know what I'm saying, but that's not the main reason why I'm doing this, man. I'm doing this because I need to save our community, I need to save our youth, I need to save our next generation because my daughter's in his next, my daughter's is in his next generation growing up, coming up, you know what I'm saying? So, that's why it matters to me. Everywhere I go now, people, I was on 42nd Street a few weeks ago, somebody came, you know, hello, Rikers, oh shit, I, yo, I fuck with your shit, uh. Yeah, man, the people supporting me, the people loving my movement. The Bronx DA, Darcel Clark, is, is fucking with my movement. We about to be doing a lot of interviews and shit soon. Hopefully be on a lot of um, other people's platforms, you know what I'm saying? Getting this good word out, I'm saying spreading the, the knowledge to the youth, man. Because, um, like I said, too many people that look like me is dying every day, going to jail and prison for the rest of their life for nothing, for no reason at all. No nothing, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas gotta get it together or forget it forever. Use your brain or lose your brain. You know what I mean? Use your brain or lose your brain, man. Get it together or forget it forever, man. Catch me on the next one. I'll be back with y'all real soon. Be safe, man.